I think all of us were at the age when we dabbled with smoking, and someone never really got rid of it. It's weird. You should, you know, get rid of it. Anyway, I'm no exception. I'll tell you a story of how my friends and I smoked in the toilet. It was a fun time. I had it when I was in 9th grade. Every break we'd go to the toilet so that it wasn't the safest place like, you know, there was a chance that someone would go in there and that's what usually happened. The first time we went to smoke in the toilet we had regular cigarettes. These are quite popular American cigarettes, real tobacco I guess. By the end of class my classmate and I went to the toilet and checked it for smoke detectors. You know, we didn't want the school to be evacuated because of us, although we loved that kind of thing. So we just lit a cigarette, locked ourselves in a stall and were smoking. At some point we ourselves got disgusted by the cigarettes. They stank so bad that it seems to us that the smell was almost all over the school. And then my friend said to me, you know what? What? Maybe screw the cigarettes. Let's throw them out before somebody comes in here. This time you're insanely right, my dear friend. And we threw the cigarettes down the toilet. After pressing the flush button, we had another problem. They wouldn't flush. So I went to another stall, took a brush from there since I didn't have one, and pushed the cigarettes down the toilet. The idea was so brilliant that it worked. After that, we decided to switch to a vape. At that time, kids from the fifth grade dabbled in such things, so I heard enough about them. I bought myself a good vape straight away. At that time, I was saving up for a computer. But you know, habits are not a cheap thing, so don't smoke. Anyway, as I said, I bought a vape, some liquid for it. At that time, I didn't care about the taste. I was you not what? a true connoisseur of vape, so it was hard for me. But after a while, I got used to it, and I couldn't imagine a break without vaping. This way, I was able to protect myself from being expelled from school, since a lot of people were vaping, so I had someone to blame it on. <clears throat> yeah, that's how I did it. So coming home after school, I was also walking and smoking. That was the moment when I had to do it a lot because when I got home, my mom was there, which would have a very negative effect on the fact that I was smoking there. I walked up to the house, put the vape in my jacket pocket by habit. I think you know where I'm going with this, but I'll tell you anyway. I came home, left the vape in my jacket, and ran to wash my hands and eat. And as I was washing my hands, I heard this. What the hell is this? Then I instantly understood what it was about and started making up excuses. Drops of sweat slid down my forehead. I was hot, my eyes went dark, and I thought these were the last minutes of my life. And as soon as I turned around, I was immediately kicked in the teeth. I don't remember anything else. That's all. Thanks for watching. Write your stories.